applications you will learn the concepts and formulas that are needed, which are the basis to carry out traffic work in the WFM department. You will learn which are the KPIs that a traffic uses, you will know how to distinguish between KPIs that are very similar but have a different purpose. You will also know how to calculate them. All this will give you a lot of confidence and security at the time of the interview and the exam, but not only that, but it will also help you enormously once you are working as intraday traffic. Because you will have solid knowledge and that will be reflected in your work and with your team, which will make you earn more money. If you already work in a call center and you want to move up the position working as intraday traffic in the WFM department and earn more money, this is the course for you. Let's start what are KPIs they are key performance indicators which are used to measure the level of success or performance of any individual or organization. In the WFM department we use KPIs to measure the performance level of individual agents and the call center as a business. So let's practice using an interactive example. For practical purposes we will use 5 intervals instead of the 48 half-hour intervals that exist in a day in case operations are 24 hours. In order to read the service level results you have to get access to an Erlang C calculator, you can search it online. This tool is a must to calculate the number of agents required to reach service level target at a certain interval. 3 reasons to lose service level in an interval. 1. For understaffing. In order to reach service level target you have all your resources except enough staffing. Understaffing could be due to several reasons like out of adherence agents, absenteeism, tardiness, in general a higher shrinkage than forecasted, 